Hello again everybody. Welcome back to Real Science with Chris Neal. I wanted to come to you guys today and talk about a supplement that I have. I want to just I want you guys to check this out and see what you think. What would you think if I were to tell you that I have access to a supplement that does all of these things? It's amazing. It improves my cognitive ability. It's going to improve my recovery. It's going to help me maintain lean muscle mass. It's going to help me lose weight. It's going to help me feel happier. And, and, uh, and it's going to help me work through stress better. And it's going to help me be more effective at work and just make me more pleasant overall. What if, what if I were to tell you I had access to that kind of supplement that is 100% guaranteed to work for you? Oh my gosh, how can I get some? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. Listen here, everybody has access to it and everybody can afford it too. So all you have to do is check out our website. No, not that. All you have to do really for this one, it's sleep. Sleep, that's it. Sleep actually boosts your growth hormone factors. It helps you maintain cognitive function during the day. It improves your recovery. It improves your body's metabolism, your ability to break down the, all, of the, all of the junk that we eat every day. You know, all of these things happen when we sleep and it's so, so, so vital. So I just wanted to take the time to make a video to talk all about it. There are two different types of sleep actually. There's, um, everybody's heard of REM sleep. Rapid eye movement is what it's called. Rapid eye movement sleep. There's another part of sleep called non-REM sleep. So one of the things that I thought was very interesting about REM sleep, REM sleep only happens about 20% of our um, full sleeping cycle, you know, for, for a healthy sleeping cycle anyway, which is seven to eight hours of sleep a night. So about 20% of that time is held during REM sleep. The other 80% is typically considered non REM sleep, non-rapid eye movement sleep. So during that 20% of time of REM sleep, which we know is very important, our brain lights up. You know, so even though we're asleep, our brain, as far as its uh, metabolic function, how much energy it's using, it uses just as much energy in REM sleep as it does when you're awake, believe it or not. So it's pretty cool. All kinds of things are happening during that 20 minute time. But one of the things that is not happening during that 20% of time, that REM sleep function is hormone, uh, your, your uh, human growth hormone um, production. It doesn't happen during REM sleep. It actually happens during that other 80% of the time, the longer amount of time, your, your non-REM sleep, when things are actually slow and calm. That's when your body is actually in recovery mode and recharge mode. Very, very important. It's vital. It's vital. We cannot expect that all of these supplements that we take, dieting or eating the right foods, working out, you know, living a healthy lifestyle and doing all of, and the workouts and everything, it's not going to amount to anything if we don't have that supplement sleep on board. It's vital. We have to have that. So and without that, everything else falls apart. Without uh, a, an adequate amount of sleep, your cortisol levels rise. Cortisol is a steroid in your body that's naturally produced. We do have to have a certain level of cortisol. If that level starts to go, go up, it destroys everything, everything positive it destroys. So it's, it's huge that we have to stay away from that. So sleep, we have to have that in order to make sure that our cortisol levels stay normal. Um, without sleep, um, it, it causes all kinds of changes in our ghrelin. We learned about ghrelin in our last video um, that had to do with the hormone, uh, uh, the, the HGH family. It's a hormone in the HGH family. So um, uh, without sleep, then our, our growth hormone levels, our ghrelin levels, they're all thrown off. Another thing about sleep, without sleep, it throws off another hormone that's also very key called leptin. And uh, leptin is a hormone that's essentially in charge of our, um, of our level of our state of starvation or overfeeding. It's a, it's a level that plays into that balance, whether our body feels like we've had enough food or our body feels like we're starving, which has a lot to do, it really drives our metabolism in regards to how much fat we put on or whether we're gonna be burning fat. And that gets all thrown out of whack. 
and so many other factors. Like if we don't get enough sleep, then that's our main time for, uh, for recovery, muscle recovery, joint recovery. And without that, you can wake up in the morning and feel just as wore out as you did right before you went to bed. You know, so um, both physically and mentally. So we don't have that ability without that 80% of non-REM sleep, non-rapid eye movement sleep. Our brain doesn't have a chance to take a break and, and have a and, and get a good uh, good night's sleep and rest and and uh, so that it can fight the day again. You know, tomorrow. So it's very important, very important so that we all have that that supplement in our medicine cabinet and we take it on a regular basis and that sleep. So one of the things about sleep that's also very interesting is is that your body doesn't like being forced to sleep. One thing uh, that a lot of research has found is that although the, the rapid eye movement is very important, that we don't get good effective sleep with medication. You know, so there are medications out there that can that they, they feel like you've been hit with a hammer over the head and they will make you sleep. Is it effective sleep though? That's what's key. Even though your eyes are closed, it doesn't mean that your body's recovering. It doesn't mean that you're going to wake up refreshed and uh, and be able to uh, to recover your muscles and your and your bones and your joints and uh, and recover your brain and get through the day. So very very key. So so trying to overdo it with those supplements, overdoing it with alcohol to try and to try and get yourself to sleep, it doesn't really work well. Um, it's it's uh, your your body. You might close your eyes, but that doesn't mean that your body's going to actually recover well and get those good sleep benefits out of effective sleep. So, um, in addition to to the the medicinal aspect of those things, there's also other things that can affect us psychologically that can that can rob us of effective sleep. And probably the most common of all of those is anxiety. So, guys. Everyone, everyone out there suffers from some form of anxiety. I feel like myself. I feel like I am. I'm from the South. I feel like I'm a pretty mellow, pretty chill person. And uh, most people that know me, you know, know that that uh, that I'm pretty even tempered and nothing really riles me up uh, very much at all. But everybody, me included, everybody suffers from some form of anxiety. So I felt anxious to the point where I just uh, my mind is spinning at night and I just cannot slow my mind down enough to just relax and take a breath and 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 sleep you know and counting sheep doesn't do it you know so like so what we have to do is um I, what we have to train ourselves to do is to um train ourselves towards getting a good night's sleep so we have to prepare ourselves prepare our body prepare our mind in order to what i call landing the plane and, and that's getting ourselves into a landing pattern. It takes time to land a plane. It takes planning. So um, way before it's time for bed, you know, do all of your nighttime duties, brush your teeth, take a shower, change into some comfortable clothes, dim the lights, try and stay away from the electronics as much as you can and um, so that we can slow our brains down. Walk slower, talk slower, talk softer, turn everything, all stimulation, start to turn it down towards bedtime. And then when it is time to land your plane, you can have a nice smooth landing under the covers and then you can get yourself a good night's sleep and you can get more of that supplement actually into your body, which is that effective sleep, which is what we're all after. Really, you know, having that recovery the way we like, the body sculpting, losing fat, maintaining lean muscle, cognitive performance, being sharp all day long, that's what it's all about. And this is a supplement that I guarantee will get you that. So if we use it, we all have access to it and it's not expensive, I promise you. Um, but life is busy, you know, and, and I get that, you know, we all have duties and all kinds of things to do, but really when it comes down to it, what's more important than our health? And this is a really, really key factor to, to your health that, um, that I know that, that you all think is important too, just as I do. So I just want to take some time to share that with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Check me out on Facebook, Viking Nation also, um, the Viking Nation Facebook page. You can also set up a free consultation with me at any time, vikingalternative.com. You can set up a consultation with myself or any of our other um, medical professionals, and we'd be happy to take care of you. Thanks a lot for your time. We'll talk to you later.